Are you the type of person who wants to win games by yourself instead of relying on your solo shuffle partners? Well, if that's the case, then stay tuned, because today we've hand-selected some specs that are designed to carry an arena at all ratings, but don't worry, there will be no RMP mentioned today. But before we get into it, be sure to check out Skillcapped if you truly want to climb rating in WoW Arena. We're the only service that offers a money-back guarantee if you don't gain at least 400 rating while actively using our website. We do this because our service is proven to work, and if it doesn't, you don't pay. Learn more at the end of this video or click the link in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. Carrying as a melee means being able to control the pace of the game while applying massive pressure. And of course, we couldn't make this video without talking about the elephant in the room, Rhett Paladin. The entire Paladin class got a major rework in the 07 patch, with Rhett being on the receiving end of some massive damage buffs. If you've played any arena in the past few days, you already know how crazy overtuned Rhett Paladin is at the moment, and we fully expected to receive some major nerfs. In fact, Rhett is so strong right now that his representation has increased by over 400% since the patch launched. We've honestly never seen anything like this before. Right now, Rhett is doing some of the highest sustained DPS in the game, all with an incredibly strong defensive kit. Avenging Wrath is now a one minute cooldown and Divine Protection can now be used while stunned, which combined make Rhett's into nearly immortal gods with unhealable damage. So if you want to have some broken fun right now, play Rhett, but understand that it will 100% be nerfed very, very soon. If you want a more consistent carry experience for the rest of the season, we might recommend something else. And for that, you can't sleep on Arms Warrior. The spec went practically unchanged in the 07 patch, which is a good thing since they were already one of the best melee in every bracket. Warrior is a jack of all trades and can synergize with any class. This comes first in the form of their raw pressure, where Mortal Strike is now the best melee healing reduction in the game when paired with Sharpened Blade. Normally, warriors aren't known for their burst damage, but right now, their ability to stack damage multipliers is unrivaled. With Colossus Smash, Avatar, Spear of Bastion, and Overpower, all funneling additional damage into Mortal Strike alongside Sharpened Blade. All of this together is why warriors can seemingly one-shot targets on their own. Warriors have also found recent success with bleed-based builds centered around Thunderous Roar, which gives them tons of AoE damage potential and is absolutely brutal to heal through without any form of bleed to spell. Aside from its damage output, warrior defensive utility is designed to carry and is layered with depth. Need a strong AoE CC in a pinch? Intimidating Shout is the perfect tool to break up kills without needing to put anyone on stun DR. Have no way of stopping a cast from ranged? Stormbolt is the possible answer, and is also one of the best setup tools since it can't be dodged or parried. Honestly, with the amount of options warriors have, whether it is a disarm, intervene, rallying cry, or war banner, the defensive toolkit of arms is at a really high baseline, but scales higher and higher with more game knowledge. The only thing truly lacking from arms warrior is its ability to pressure enemy healers with CC. Carrying the game as a ranged DPS is quite difficult these days. With all the mobility and micro CC of melee, landing casts can feel impossible. Well, unless you're a hunter. Both BM and Marksmanship excel at every rating in Solo Shuffle and are one of the more accessible ranged DPS specs in the game. Hunters have some of the most reliable crowd control in the game to use on healers, with stun, scatter, trap, and silence, giving the class endless possibility to carry the CC load in arena, something that is incredibly efficient for climbing. In fact, we made an entire video about how one player managed to climb on a Marks Hunter with zero gear just by chaining CC on the healer every game. It's wild how effective this actually is, all while being quite simple to execute. Of course, evokers can make these CC chains harder with Nullifying Shroud, and there are forms of counterplay for Freezing Trap, but these CC counters affect every ranged DPS. On the damage side of things, BM is known for having some of the highest sustained damage output in Arena, and with buffs to Kill Command, it is now even better. When you combine the sustained damage with a healing reduction effect and 14 second CC chains on enemy healers, BM Hunters are capable of carrying pressure for their team. Marks, on the other hand, is highly explosive and is a massive execution test. With the ability to chunk down HP in the blink of an eye, you can't afford to trade cooldowns late into their burst. Once again, when this type of damage profile is paired with an almost guaranteed CC chain on healers, Hunters are one of the best classes overall for carrying the game across all ratings. But if you want to carry in a more traditional caster experience, look no further than Demonology Warlock. Demo got a pretty significant rework in the patch, including some key damage buffs to Felguard and Tyrant. The reason why Demo is such an excellent solo carry class is the sheer amount of control it has in Arena, at least in its current state. 
Between Mortal Coil, Shadow Fury, and Axe Toss, Demo Warlocks are one of the few casters with actual forms of lockdown, all of which make incredible peeling options. When this is combined with fear, Demonology has multiple ways to save their team while dictating the pace of the game. In many ways, Demo is the arms warrior of caster DPS. It's humble and not designed to do anything flashy. Instead of looking to quickly end games, it carries more by slowing the arena down and winning by attrition, which it should be able to do even better in the new patch. It's easy to understand how DPS can carry games, but healing is slightly different. As a healer, it is hard to find agency in PvP. Rarely do you have moments where you feel like you genuinely won the game for your team, because most of the time you're frantically keeping everyone alive through seemingly unhealable damage. The one possible exception to this rule is Fistweaver Monk, which is one of the only healers where your offensive impact can be felt. Now, the same could be said with Disc Priest, but after a flat damage nerf and a bug fix to expiation, Disc Priest damage doesn't really carry like it used to. On the other hand, Fistweaver healing is almost entirely linked to their damage output, which in some cases can rival actual DPS. This allows monks to have a direct impact on the outcome of the game, since their damage output is the highest out of any healer. Because their healing is intrinsically tied to melee attacks, Fistweavers don't really need to deal with hard casting outside of the occasional essence font. This allows them to focus on damage and use their diverse control kit to help secure kills with their team, whether it means using in-cap on an enemy healer or locking down kill targets with their AoE stun. With Touch of Death, Monks are the only healer with a true execute effect, which is easier to pull off as Fist Weavers since they are constantly pushed into the fight, even though most of the changes in the patch were aimed at buffing the standard Mist Weaver build. Fist Weaver was still a winner with the buff to Thunder Focus T, which now allows them to instantly apply Enveloping Mist. In any case, with the high highest damage output of any healer combined with multiple CC options, Fist Weaver is definitely capable of actually carrying the game. Our final healer recommendation for solo carrying is actually Resto Shaman, which represents our more mechanically demanding option. Despite its reputation as the aggressive in-your-face healer that doesn't even cast, Resto Shaman might actually have the highest skill ceiling for the healing role. In order to carry as a shaman, you need to figure out ways to compensate for your relatively weak healing output. This is done by playing aggressive and disruptive at the same time. The more you can interact with the enemy team, the better. For a second, just think about what a Resto Shaman is capable of. Instinctively, your mind likely went to Purge, Wind Shear, and Grounding Totem, three of the most iconic PvP abilities, all with multiple uses on defense and offense. But now, consider Shamans also have other dynamic abilities too, like Thunderstorm, Lightning Lasso, and Unleash Shield. This means they have six ways to directly interact with the enemy team, not even counting their damage potential. And bear in mind that this is all in the single toolkit of a healer, which again means counterbalancing all of these offensive options with efficient cooldown trading. The patch includes a pretty significant redesign to the spec, with a flat out increase to all healing done, but we don't think this will change the Shaman playstyle. Instead, Resto Shaman will likely continue to be very mechanically demanding and will benefit the most from a more aggressive posturing, which is hard to do as a healer. The best shamans will be the ones who are able to micromanage all of their disruptive options while finding brief moments to blast targets with Stormkeeper damage. There is truly no other healer who has so many different ways to help with kills. Fistweavers might have their damage, but shamans have a bit of everything, which gives them enormous carry potential in Arena, especially in the new patch. Alright guys, before we wrap this up, we wanted to tell you a little bit more about Skillcapped. We are the only website that promises you will gain at least 400 rating while using our guides. Instead of needing to waste all that time painfully figuring out PvP on your own, Skillcapped has streamlined the entire process and is guaranteed to deliver results. Our website features epic class courses that teach you the exact fundamentals needed to climb in WoW Arena, and in the time it takes to get a solo shuffle pop, you can learn advanced skills in our Master and Minutes guides. We also have hundreds of solo shuffle commentaries, where expert players teach you the secret strategies in order to beat the toughest lobbies. So if you want to see real rating gains and achieve your goals this season, check out SkillCap.com using the links below. Anyway guys, that wraps up today's update. We want to thank you all for watching. See you soon.